Well, I think the first message that people need to be taking home is that we can't make progress either on saving children's lives or on achieving broader development goals, ensuring that uh, people are able to fulfil their potential uh, and that their societies are able to flourish unless we ensure that uh, people are properly nourished, and particularly children in that, critical, uh, in that critical period up to their second birthday get the nutrition they need. So that's the first, I think that's the first key message. I think the second is that not enough at the moment is happening uh, to tackle malnutrition. We've got 170 million children around the world suffering from chronic malnutrition. And those children are at much higher risk of dying before their fifth birthday, but they've also faced a lifetime of uh, thwarted opportunity. Then I think the third message is a message of hope, which is that actually a lot of the solutions are known, they're proven, they're out there. There are countries that have already made uh, good progress in uh, reducing child malnutrition, and we need to act on those lessons and ensure they're applied more widely. And that's partly about direct interventions that we know can have an impact on children, whether it's breastfeeding, fortifying foods, uh, providing basic minerals and vitamins as supplements, but also uh, tackling some of the uh, underlying issues around uh, poverty, making sure that households have the money they need to secure an adequate diet, making sure food and agriculture actually work to deliver good nutritional outcomes for children and their families.